All right. I don't know what's going on here. Guess, uh... We'll kill first and find out later. Okay. This tamer was going after me for a while. I'm assuming they're, they're fighting these two. So it's gonna be a 1v1v2, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, I should probably pick up the loot. I'm gonna kill this guy first. I don't know if these guys are actually geared or not, though. It, does, it doesn't feel like they are. But they keep attacking me, so... I'll stay along and see what happens. gone? Swing to this side? What's my gear, he asks. Well, it looks like uh, as soon as uh, I came over, the person who tried to attack me left. So I guess I'm just going to go do RBF. So right now it's prime time for RBF. There's 20 people in here right now. For whatever reason. Okay. In Villa buff. Not sure why right now in particular there's so many people, but... Nova. Okay. Hmm. Succession Nova at that. Oh, there's that was a different Nova. One succession, one awakening. Looks like our party just, our team just wiped everyone, though. What? Okay, there we go. That was unfortunate. Actually, that. I mean, it worked. I'm guessing... Okay, what the fuck? How did they all die? Did the succession know us just wiped them? Is the, is the succession on our team?
Oh, what the heck? You have to be kidding me. I was slightly off with my block. What? There he is. Uh, he has Bone Katana. I got that Sage traded by the Sage. That never works. I don't know why I keep trying to block jump grab against Sage. Oh, don't want to get SA traded here. This SA trade here. Okay, I thought I used um fucking illusion. What's up, man? How did he get me there? That was that was in front of guard. There's no way that should have hit. Oh my god. I'm fucking up. Okay, why am I not getting any kills? Playing mobile games. Why play mobile games so you can play uh Swords of Legends online? Maybe because I don't have a uh, fucking villa buff. I'm not getting any kills. What? I was in range? Well, I don't know. I have no points right now. I'm not getting any kills off of my CC. And that guy didn't get a second CC. Alright, no death here. What the fuck? He took zero damage. Okay, at least he died. Not the stun. Nope, didn't get the kill though. What do you mean? Wait, why is Viola buff bringing a knife to a gunfight? What does that even mean? Ah, what? Wait, how was that not a grab? I don't get your analogy there. It's too slow to really pull that off. Fuck. 
shouldn't have risked it. I guess I can just grab him here. Oh, he has the buff? I guess he has spawn protection buff. No grab? How can you have Core Katana Shower and Core Serpent? Wait, what do you mean? I only have Core Katana. Okay, what the fuck was that range? I've never seen it to be that long. He literally grabbed me from like behind the other guy. I mean, you just have to be aware of it, I guess. I need to be doing better though. Uh, should have went with a safer route. How did I not get the kill? Hello? Someone explain how I did not get the kill on that. What the actual fuck? Well, this is RBF, so of course my damage is low. Remember, they have the uh, DP buff on in RBF now. What, did you not know that was a thing? What was added a while ago? No, you... You literally get the DP buff. Hey Neil, how are you doing? 300 to go? I mean, that's not bad. Seems like a typical day for you. Yeah, like, like there's literally a DP buff in RBF.
I mean, it's a hidden buff, of course, so you can't, like, actually see it, but it's there. You're literally more tanky in RBF than you are in the, in the world map. And I'm pretty sure with the way it works, it's like... You get more DP, the lower your HP is. So I feel like if you use a skill that has, like, very, does a lot of damage in one hit, then I think it's, like, easier to kill people. But I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. Because I feel like if I take a long time to kill people, then they're harder to kill. But if I kill them, like, with one skill, then they're not as tanky. Is my main character geared still? Yes, it is. I'm just playing Seasonal instead. Because even though my main character is 650 gear score, it's like, that's nothing nowadays. Oh, that's my seasonal gear. I mean, my main gear is like 292, 354, but I don't play it anymore, so. Was I too slow? The fuck? Smoke swing after Blazeman is a pretty safe way to catch people, even on uh, Awakening. What the fuck? Okay, I guess I was out of range for that serpent. Didn't CC the ranger. No, I was supposed to be in iframe. When the sage came up behind me, but he hit me anyways. What? Why did that grab fail? And I'm being too slow to really do anything. I'm too slow to really do anything in that situation. Was even that CC? I think the vacuum pulled me in, so I filled my ground. I should have I should have gotten out of the vacuum first. Okay, well, that was just bad timing. I didn't see the Corsair right, at, right as he was about to pop.
What the fuck is going on? Why was that? <laughs> that shadow stun was so scuffed. It didn't do shit. Why am I not getting these kills? I really want to avoid the sage. I was pretty confident the Serpent would land, I don't know. I don't know, I usually... S I feel like the way I... S like, where I Serpent usually... Is just... Usually where it's safe enough that I don't feel like having Frontal Guard on it would benefit me at all. Which is why I picked uh, Bone Katana instead of Bone Serpent, so... Like, in that situation there, I, I just felt like... That was a pretty safe serpent, and it turned out to be right. Even without the bow on it. Oh, our team has doubled their points now. They're just being spawn camp now. Well, since the first hit of Frontal Guard is CC, then technically all I need is 1% of Frontal Guard to block CC. In theory, I think. I only need to block the first hit. What? Fucking melee rangers. I didn't see him. He, was, he came from behind the wall. Since when was it SA? Bong? Is that the best SA for Rangers? Do they have better ones? Is Bong like the pick that you always go for for Waking Ranger now? Or Bong uh, Waltz. Yeah, Bong Waltz just sounds like the pick. Which is kind of scuffed though, because like... Okay, I don't know how I got CC there. Most classes usually get several good picks. Rather than just one that everyone goes for. Well...
How do I know when he's gonna go for the frontal guard break anyways? I don't know really know what the range on that skill is. But not, that doesn't let me get any closer to knowing when they're gonna go for it. Succession Sage? Not gonna bother chasing. I think for now I'll just all assume they can always do that whenever I'm not moving. Oh my god, the vacuum! Just how many vacuums do they have? I was vacuuming for like a good like 20 seconds there. Oh, it's this perma vacuum. Okay. Honestly, I wasn't even sure what class that guy was. Okay, there's like, there's this balling up here. Let me try approaching from a different angle. Get the re CC on the Mystic. That's strange. Let me get out. What? What? Wait, why did I not get the kill? Wait, how did Corsair get the kill? I was literally the only person DPSing. What, what kind of BS is this? What the actual fuck? Is, is that like the new meta? Like, can, can Noah just uh, like give the kill to someone else at random? Is that their new, is that the new feature of this class or what? DLT, can, how can DLT get the last hit there on, on Serpent? That makes zero sense.
It's not like I was fox clawing or whatever. But I didn't get the kill for for whatever reason. That that's a, that's what makes the class OP. Cuz you can choose to not give the kill to the person who kills you. That's that's the only reason this class is OP. Range grab doesn't matter. Speed doesn't matter. Break frontal guard doesn't matter. If you can deny the person who killed you the kill, then your class is OP, I feel like. How does it sound like ninja? Pretty much every time, the person who actually kills me gets the kill though. Okay, that was a nice desync. I'm gonna be keep doing RBF. It's not this isn't like the only RBF. But uh enjoy your studying. I'm also not at 144 again. Hmm, that's weird. Let me get out of here real quick. I think it's fine, actually. I should have 144 stable, at least. That's probably fine. Unless that was the only RBF and you jinxed it. No one else is in this RBF. Okay, now people are joining in. Getting chaos. Oh, 
Damn, that Corsair just got straight up traded. Okay, he has the buff. We have four people, they have two, waiting for more to join. Oh, we're just outnumbering them right now. Nothing to see here. I thought that seal was frontal guard. That DK skill that I blocked from too. I guess it's super armor now. That small immunity last. They have zero points. They actually have zero points. Hey, what's up, Anthony? It's just uh, some seasonal RBF. Apparently, this is prime time for our seasonal RBF, so might as well. But apparently, I'm on the team where the other team has zero points. What if I leave and can I join the other team? Should I join the other team? Let me try and even it out a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of boring when they're not even able to leave spawn. But that would have to that would assume that some of them have to not be AFK. Why am I getting notifications alerts? Hold on. I'm still on the same team, bro. Like that just means they have people AFK on their team, which is annoying. There is an AFK timer, but I think it's pretty easy to bypass, as far as I'm aware. And not to mention, once it passes the 10 minute mark, you can't join anymore. So 
so it doesn't really matter ultimately. They can just you like they can just AFK and then once it's past the time arc, then even if they're outnumbered, no one will come and help them. This one of many reasons why this mode is so scuffed. What would I rather do? Solo with boss or RBF? I mean, obviously RBF. Why would you, like... If you think about it, if you, there's no point playing against bots, because that's a single-player experience. And if you're going to play a single-player game, then play a good one. So... I thought you meant this RBF in general, or or no? Or do you do you what do you mean exactly? Do you mean RBF in general, or like RBF right now, like this one? Ah. Uh. I don't know. I guess that I guess that this is still better. At least they still like. There's still some people. I, I guess they're not all AFK. It's just too many AFK. Cause like, if you have like even a few people AFK, the number can really quickly just shift in our favor. To, and then they can just like never get anything on anything done. Especially after they added the DP buff. Like you can't even kill people a lot of the times. So they just get out. So you need like more numbers more than ever now. So even if you have like people who aren't AFK, like just a few people who are AFK can like really ruin it. Because they don't balance it based on numbers and they could easily do that if they like make it so that your reward is based on your personal performance or something rather than based on whether your team wins or lose. So you could like, in theory, count the number, your KDA, and then even if you have to be swapped to the losing team, it doesn't matter because you keep your KDA, for example. But they don't do that because they want the reward based on the team's performance. So ultimately, if you're on a winning team, you don't want to be swapped to the losing team and get less reward. Even though I doubt anyone really cares about the reward at this point. Well, there's a good reason in like Call of Duty, they auto balance the team mid-match, rather than just leave it as whatever it is. So. I don't know what it is, but my skills are coming off really slow for some reason. Let me try this. Let me try full screen. Yeah, you know Call of Duty? The, uh, famous shooter game? Ah, okay. It's not really just that game, but like most games, 
what's under the team deathmatch format will auto balance the team based on who's winning and who's losing so Like I've seen even I've seen battlefield games do it. I've seen non-shooter games do it. What the fuck? I didn't see the archer. Or solo, they don't technically auto balance, but they like get the numbers right when the game starts. We yeah, just just many things they could do to improve on the experience. Probus listen to the players? I mean, the thing is, they don't really have a good track record. Okay, what? How did I get CC there? Katana Shards just didn't come off at all. I don't really know what's just happened. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just desyncing repeatedly right now. Oh, shit, he ultied. I mean, I think they, like, they listen, so, so the thing is, they listen to players when it's, like, something small, that's relatively, like, insignificant, but I feel they've pretty much been neglecting anything the player says for, like, any actual content, I feel like. Like, sure, people are happy that they've been listening to the quality of life feedback, but none of that actually really matters for, like, people who want to keep playing the game, for example. Like, sure, quality of life is quality of life, but, like, like the name implies, you don't need it, it's just quality of life. But you need content. Like, you can pretend you're listening by implementing all the quality of life changes you want, but at the end of the day, no one really needs quality of life changes. That's why they're called quality of life changes.
<laughs> I mean, ultimately, that's why when you have to not only prioritize based on number of items you can complete, but also based on how important each item is. Otherwise, your metrics won't be accurate. I just got pulled back. Well, that's what you need to actually care about that. Change must come from within. How the fuck did I get... That's another weird thing. Sometimes they'll automatically use concealment when I press smoke screen for some reason. Even when I only meant to use smoke screen. I can't really engage any of this. Too many people here. Well, no, it's it's the difference between a good company and a bad company, so... I don't know, I don't know about that. I think that this this type change comes from the CEO level. If you can't get this right, then you're just a bad company altogether. Then CTO. I mean, it doesn't really matter which which chief. Just one of the COs. Like th this this change it would need, would come from the high ups. It's not up to the manager to decide. Like your game, your game is dying. You're not going to leave it up to a manager to decide it. I mean, the culture is dictated by the people at the top, so... Saying that the culture doesn't allow you to do it just means that the people at the top are bad at managing their company. What do you mean, one-offs exist? One-offs of what?
Right, but then that wouldn't be a problem in terms of performance metrics. Like you would have to set your performance metrics right off the bat in order to encourage people to not try and find loopholes where they only deliver on the uh, well, small updates. You would have to set it in a way where they're encouraged to deliver things based on how important they are. Why is this guy just standing here? Oh, well. I mean, yeah, you're you're right, but the thing is, like, if your main product is dying, you're not just gonna like leave it up to each individual manager to decide. At that point, you're gonna like do a complete overhaul and review. Because I'm sure they realize that with the uh, Lost Ark. New World and everything else, there's going to be a lot of competition if they don't change things up. Which is probably why they're introducing things like Ranked Arena that people have been asking for for the past like 5 years. Because, I mean, if everything's doing well, then sure, things can slip through the cracks. But if things aren't looking good, and you still let it slide, then it's just a bad company at that point, then. How the fuck did I get CC'd? Fuck, I'm just gonna get CC'd here. Oh, I got slowed. Couldn't gra grab in time. Like the tenure of the CEO. Um, perhaps. But I'm pretty sure Pro Abyss has had the same CEO. I could be wrong, though. If it's the largest revenue generator and then it's going down, like, what do you mean they're not? How can they not be accountable? Like, sure, there's other things they have to be accountable for, but that's gotta be one of the main things.
didn't um, Blizzard CEO resign over the controversy? Or was that someone else? Because didn't he say that... I, I remember, like, didn't the one of them say that they should have done more or something like that? And then they resigned? With, with the Blizzard controversy? I didn't read up on all the details, so I remember like reading something along those lines. With someone resigning and someone saying like they should have done more. I mean, if he wasn't responsible, why would he resign? Well, he could have changed it before it happened if, it, if, if he wasn't responsible in any way. So clearly, he had to be responsible in some way that changing him that forcing him to resign was a logical uh, conclusion of what needed to be done. Like, if he had zero responsibility, then him resigning wouldn't have accomplished anything. Then there wouldn't have been a reason for him to resign. I mean, no one's ever directly responsible, but what's the difference? They have the ability to make policy changes. That would ultimately have solved things. It's not the culture part of the capital allocation. I mean, if you're allocating your resources to the wrong capital, that's leading to a bad culture, that's leading to the product failure, then it, it still all comes together. So I don't, I don't know what you mean. I mean, you're saying that they're not responsible for, I guess, you're essentially saying that they're not responsible if the manager is taking shortcuts, but ultimately they're responsible for hiring people who hire people who ultimately hire that manager and such. So they still have the final influence. They can determine that too many people are taking shortcuts like that and get them uh, and uh, implement company wide culture changes to prevent that from happening. But, like, what's the difference though? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, it doesn't really matter if they're directly responsible or not, they can still make the change. So, if the company fails because of people who are taking shortcuts, rather than doing what actually needs to be done, then it's not something that couldn't have been prevented. Like, somebody could have prevented it, still.
and someone ultimately wasn't there doing their job and for that to slip through and not be prevented. Like that's like that's what I think. Like I don't think it's inevitable. Because definitely some companies can get it right and others can get it wrong. I mean, yeah, but like, like, say if you're a team leader and your team doesn't deliver on time, like, sure, you, you weren't the ones who missed the delivery, but at the end of the day, you're going to like make some changes, like maybe get that person fired, maybe get asked for more resources to hire more members. You're not just going to say, well, you know, nothing I could have done there. It's not my fault because I wasn't directly responsible for them not completing their assigned tasks, and then just leave it at that. The project has to complete, so some things are going to need to be done. And then it's like that all the way up. Well, I mean, there is a difference, but like, not from the perspective of how well the company's doing, whether your game's gonna die or not, whether your company's gonna collapse, you know, things like that. There, there isn't really much of a difference from that perspective. Like, sure, maybe, a, like, when it comes to who to fire, sure, there's, there's a difference, but your company still fucked either way, so... You better do something about it. So what do you mean by when you say when you evaluate companies? Like what do you mean evaluate company? Evaluate them for what? Because we're talking we're like we're just talking about pro abyss right now. As far as I'm aware. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, that makes sense if you're just looking at, like, a, any random company and deciding whether to invest in it or not. But if we're talking about, like, like, we're talking about this one particular company, Pearl Abyss, and the game that we're playing. So I feel like we have to still we have to like look at it in terms of not just from a investment perspective. <laughs> Cuz we're not investing in it. We're kind of like trying to figure out whether they're actually going to uh, implement the fucking changes that they said they're going to make or not or whether it's time to look for a new game to play.
여기를 오시더니 정말 용감하시군요. Okay, so uh I mean from an outside perspective, you can't like you can't really evaluate sure whether he knows what he's doing. But it's more like Since we're like we're already invested, like it's not like we're deciding whether to play BDO or not. Like we we already are playing BDO, and now the only question is, are they gonna improve it, or is it time to bail out? Rather than like, should we begin playing this game in the first place? Well, not the CEO, like, like just one of the, I don't know which officer, but like, but like someone higher up is probably capable of making the changes that needs to be made. And it's really just like, if the changes doesn't get made, then I feel like someone is to blame rather than just saying that's corporate. The shareholders. Huh. BDO is publicly traded, isn't it? Or Pearl Abyss, rather. Actually, I thought it was a private company, though. Didn't they buy back all the shares? Wait, I thought they buy, bought back all their shares. Or was that a different company? Yeah, that's what I thought, too. Or rather, I think it was a public company at one point, but then didn't they like buy back all of their shares? I thought that was the thing that happened, or am I remembering wrong? They get confused with the wrong company? Why does that skill hit behind him? Oh my god. There's no animation behind him. But I still take damage. It's still on the Korean Stock Exchange? Okay. I don't know if I maybe have read about a different company then. I could have sworn there was like a company. That was also a game we were playing. And then they like... Went back to private or something like that. Oh, so they did bring five back shares. That's not all of them. Okay, so I, so I, so I didn't remember wrong. But yeah, like... Since we're already like playing Black Desert Online, it's just more of like... If they do fail, then... It's... they could... like, that's all I'm saying, like, they could have done something if they... if they fuck up. Because I'm not really talking about the perspective of someone investing in a company. 
trying to see if it's worth investing. Like, I'm already invested. But if they fuck up, then that is on them, is what I feel like. Like, I don't feel like there's nothing they could have done. Okay, the fucking desync on silent charge, man. Every time. Normally, share buyback occurs when management have excess cash and they think stock is undervalued. I mean, maybe it was, because... This is like a billion dollar company now, I remember reading about it in the news. Probis became a billion dollar company. Because BDO was that successful or something. Even with the slow stacking change, I'm still getting constantly slowed. Also, why does this RBF have no players all of a sudden? There was only 30 people in the previous RBF. I swear, people only joined the last 10 minutes. doing here. I failed that block jump. Okay, how did he only... How did he get up so fast? I swear. The last sliver of HP is so deceiving because of this DP buff. It almost it always looks like I just need like one hit to finish them off. But then that one hit does like zero damage because of the DP buff. How did I miss my block jump? Taking another break since you finished RT and RTI drugs. I'm assuming that's one of the subjects you're doing. Yes, we'll see. Since you said you finished it rather than 
finishing the topic, so I, I don't know if it could have meant anything. You're only taking exams, yes. Yeah, I guess holiday's over. Pretty rip. Back to studying until Christmas, I guess. You can only work when Anthony's working? Ah, yes. Oh my god, the last percentage is so deceiving. Like I don't I don't I don't get it. Like why did they come up with this system? I mean I only serpented it because I was getting annoyed that he wasn't dying. I knew it was an unsafe serpent, but I just wanted to see him die. I play ideally when people actually die. Like, I don't know why they implemented this system for RVF. You can just, like, give everyone more HP or something. Or just give everyone an equal amount of HP. Bro, no Sork is getting 15 kills with Karshin. What? Only class getting like AOE kills in this meta is like Sage probably. Thanks for following, Ghost. What? He grabbed only me. And he got the kill. Well, I'm not a Nova, so obviously not. Is this another one of your weird fantasies again, Anthony? Because I have no idea what you're talking about. It's literally your fantasy, because I don't know what you're even talking about. I don't really see a point in keeping track of lawns. Most of the time they don't really engage.
Most of the time they don't even really engage. People play super passive in RBF. I don't think there's really a point in thinking about it. He just disappeared though. I guess he escaped. What do you mean? Carson is an animation locked? Wait, you can cancel Carson though. Well, that much is true. Well, that much is true. But regardless, I'm not playing Sork, so... All right, see you later. Wait, the hell? This thing's at 400 points. Oh, he's running away. I don't think I can get the kill here, though. Yeah. Oops. I forgot. You can't weapon swap after flashing light. Hmm. Oops. Shit, I couldn't follow up on that. Okay, that made zero sense. Got CC in the katana shower? Ah, okay. Got it. So if worried I wouldn't get it. Now for this hash. Actually, is he succession or awakening? I don't even know how hash works. Like, well, I guess... Dice anyways. Or not? Fucking DP buff. God damn it.
Honestly, I wish you can like see your name. Or see your HP bar and score without having to hide your name. I'm gonna be right back real quick. I'm gonna go to the washroom. Well, actually, let me set up the auto pass to uh, Polyforest first, and then I will go. Might as well do two things at the same time. All right, be right back. All right, I'm back. There's still only five people in the RBF. I guess we'll get Polyforest first, just to do a quick check if anyone's there. Hopefully get a... Uh... Oh, now it's down to four. We can get a few more people in RBF before we join in. I am just gonna be standing around for another four or five minutes. So at least I can go check to see if there's PvP at Polyforest first. If there's PvP, then we'll do PvP at Polyforest instead, and then do RBF only if there's no one there. Only four people. Where did everyone go? Honestly, season servers are kind of strange. Like I don't I don't get how you go from say thirty people in one instance. 
and then suddenly go down to like four people next time. I guess he's Q-buffed. Or does he not have gear? Okay then. He's just CC me and then going for the other guy. Okay, I got him. I don't know if these two guys are geared or not. Guess we'll see. Okay, well, they're just gonna kill each other at spawn. That's no fun. What the fuck? Oh, he read. How come I didn't see the V simply the V red thing or whatever, the animation? It just disappeared. Oh, but it looks like I can kill him pretty easily. I wonder if there's more PK at the main rotation, maybe? Or does he just want to fight that spawn? Wait, what the hell? That was strange. My murderers went through him. He just disappeared on the ground and suddenly reappeared. What's this mob doing here though? Weird things going on at Poly Forest. Must be high on mushrooms. See that? Yeah, this guy. This guy has no damage. What's up, Chase? Haven't purchased the webcam yet. Okay, 
Okay, there's no one here. I wouldn't say no one. There's still this guy. Skillful, he says. I mean, his name is Grabs Are Balanced. How much skill is he expecting? Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, this guy's a male. What? Didn't he? How did I kill that guy? Oh, it's a different guy. I didn't realize these two are together. I get the CC on the tamer here. Oh shit. I'm out of pots. I just have to end this fast. What? Huh? Not sure what CC'd me there. Okay. That was weird. Because somehow... I got CC'd even though I don't see anything hitting me. And then... My block didn't work somehow. Pretty scuffed. I guess the... I guess he died. Why does he say hi? They're just doing daily? Is PvE server. I mean, it kind of is when there's no PvP going on, I guess. They need to buff the Arsha drop rate buff. 50% just isn't enough to get people to come here anymore. Since everyone's running loot scrolls, we need like... ...200% drop rate buff or something.
I mean... I remember when, um... Like, back in the days, everyone was on Archer grinding. But now that everyone's running Loot Scroll 24-7, no one's coming here anymore. Yes, if I'm doing seasonal PvP, but a tournament, but I don't really have a team right now, so I'm not too sure. And people still need to gear up. Those two are not ge really geared. I don't know about this Zerker though. He's just attacking me on sight. I'm like not in the best position. Nine people in RBF. What the hell? game right there. Like... <laughs> like... What is... Like, what even is this? This guy's name is Grabs Our Balance, but he's complaining about ninjas right now in chat. Maybe if I kill him with scraps only. Block jump serpent isn't really only a it's really only a thing if the block jump is the one that CCs them though. I'm just trying to <laughs> mean him because of his name. You know, grabs are probably balanced. If you think about it. You have to actually aim them. You know?
I think I desync here? Yeah, I do. Ah, uh, I didn't get him with the grab there. Grab combo. Suicide fall, then swap into flat. So let's use two grabs back to back. That's pretty meme. I don't know if I have a. Uh... I don't know if I can. Oh fuck, he Q buffed. And of course, I desync as well. Oh, I got the down smash. into that one. All right. I got the down smash again. This is so meme. Damn, I missed. Ah, oh, well. I guess only one grab this time. What do you mean? I have five minutes. Damn, you know what they say. Time flies when you're having a good time. Damn. Ah, uh, I don't I don't have enough time to do it like that. If I don't get the down smash. Just repeatedly grab him and don't combo. I think that might be 2BM though. Like, I get it, you torture people with your face on a regular basis, but that's not something I do. You 
know. Damn, he all grabbed me. I I have to smoke in order to cancel out of it, bro. I can't cancel a um, grab isn't a cancel. No, you can't cancel blade spin with RMB. What? Wait, why does this guy has V animation? I mean, if I Malice, he would still grab me, because Surfer grabs are all protected, right? Well... The one he used probably was because otherwise I would have gotten him with the smoke screen. I tried to down smash him. God damn it. I'm not toxic like you, okay? I don't practice being toxic. Why does he why does he want to kill me so badly? Like the double GRJ clip. I should I should post that to the um, stream Discord too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Besides the time I took off the helmet. I don't, I don't, I don't get like... Like he actually has no gear though.
I'm just gonna go in RBF. I mean that that was just too meme. All right, see you later. Crom, yo. You know, I was hoping that, like, more people would, uh, be gearing up for the Tivala tournament. Or at least, like, practicing for the Tivala tournament so we have some PvP. But it doesn't look like today we're really getting that much. I'm assuming those two guys I ran into earlier, they said they were interested in doing the tournament, so they were probably still gearing up, I think. But this time, the 2 all tournament doesn't have an entry requirement where you have to kill people, like last time. So I think probably want to give them, like, maybe a, a week or, st or so for everyone to gear up. Then maybe we find PvP. None of them were dying there. Guess our team's losing. Have to turn this around. What the fuck? Wait, what? Wasn't there a third guy? Just disappeared. There he is. Holy fuck, he just has to like, drive by me to slow me completely. He just has to tap me, and I'm just instantly slowed. Ah, couldn't DPS there. Camera angle. The fuck? That was some damage. Okay. 
Okay. Grab both of them. Who has all the points on their team? We're still behind. maybe I didn't have any DPS skill though okay wait what not sure what happened there to kill either of them though mm, probably get the kill on the ninja I think ah I don't even get him I thought it was I could get a serpent on him which I did but that wasn't enough to kill It's like being perma slowed. In that situation, it was not really good for me. Not a good SA trade for him. Okay, let's just get him, chase him down, get the points. Oh, he dropped his iframe. Probably get in here. Well, I didn't get the kill. What? I didn't get the kill as well. I bet it's just like. Reposition here. Oh my god, I'm not getting any kills. See, I need I need the kills to like actually survive. Get the two kills there, then it's only two v one rather than four v one. This guy has all of my points. Okay. Probably shouldn't have went so hard for him. I totally didn't see the other guys from the back. What? This guy has A-traded.
That should not have happened. Why the hell was that serpent so long? What the fuck? <laughs> Normally I had time to cancel the other serpent right there. See? Like that was much shorter. Okay, I just got slowed. And mistimed. Huh? I need to play better. I honestly don't know what happened there. How was he able to see see me there? That wasn't he wasn't even done his animation. Okay. Not sure how my skill rotation got screwed up there. That's another thing with Silent Charge. Sometimes I use it and I just start sprinting and it fucks things up. Okay, let me look around again. It's literally still that same Zerker. And those two guys. Oh, they, they need to gear up. Uh, I'll go check Blood Wolves. At eleven, two more entering here. I'll go towards Bob Wolf, so I'm waiting for more people to join in first. I already checked Mario Cave earlier, there wasn't really anyone. Uh, Poly Forest, there's people, but the guys are not geared. I 
don't suppose anyone will be at like mansion or whatever. They're probably sure caught in the blood wolves. But honestly, a lot of people still haven't managed to gear up on their seasonal character. For whatever reason. people and wait a few more But uh, yeah, I think I'll check, um, probably check Shurikon, check Blood Wolves, uh, see if there's anyone there, if not do a bit more RBF. And probably get off in around uh, an hour or so, I think. I still have a new video that I'm trying to edit. I need to get that done as well. I wonder if everyone just looks at it and decide that there's not enough people to join. Or just auto-pathing while waiting for people to join in RBF. Because when you look at normal RBFs, there's always 60 people all the time. A season, you get 30 people one match, 10 the next match. And like five. Oh wait, I went to Blood Wolves right away. I thought I should have went to Shurikon first. Oh, it's all the same. Check around here first, and then I'll go Shurikon later if there's no one here. This way. I'm gonna go the wrong way again. So I see one person, but the question is, is he just grinding? Ah, because some people just are only really just grinding. They don't even try to fight. I guess we'll see who this guy is, though. Ah. Mm. Uh... 
I feel like that might have been one of those people I was talking about. What about this one? Both are long and guilty suits. Where are people buying guilty suits from? For seasonal? I guess if they're maining the character in the future. It's usually much rarer to see people with skilly on seasonal though. Oh, this guy's fighting. If Gilly looked good, would I get it? Still not on season, though. Because it's not really worth spending money on season, though. Since you're basically resetting every three months, I wouldn't spend like $30 every, every three months. To buy outfit. To buy the same outfit at that. If it was different outfit then maybe. I mean, not gonna lie, I did buy a lot of outfit for my main character, but it's always different outfit. I wouldn't repeatedly buy the same outfit. <laughs> Fuck lawns. Yeah. But See, if they're just gonna run away, I I, I, just, I just don't wanna even bother. That guy saw me just immediately flew the other way. It's much harder to like... Get large fights. On seasonal at times. It's very spontaneous. Like sometimes you get uh, like five people at the same time, but then sometimes you just get people just grinding, not really trying to get a fight or anything. Yeah, when he dies that fast, he's probably not geared. Is what I'm guessing. All right, enjoy your meeting. I should probably stole away my pets. I guess this is gonna be a smaller fight. The RBFDP buff. Is it everyone versus him? Oh no, there's other people. I'm not gonna chase so I can kill this guy instead. RBF. Ah, uh, no one's an open world. I know we got this 3v3 tournament announced and all, but people probably need some time to gear up.
Oh, you're playing main server, so I don't know. You maybe you can go join in. Uh, maybe there will be content on the main Arsha. You just need 700 gear score to participate in them, though. So maybe it's just do that, you know. Wait, this is really a 3v2? I guess this is really a 3v2. Yes, let's get 700 gear score. I mean, it's not a matter of difficulty, it's just a matter of time. <laughs> What do you mean it's a matter of difficulty as well? I mean, PvE in this game isn't hard. Struggle to not end yourself. I guess if you think of difficulty like that. It doesn't mean, mecha but mechanically, you know. I mean, I think I can pretty consistently avoid vacuum if I play it right. I find that Silent Charge actually gets me all the vacuum a lot of the times. The only problem is Nova has way too much DP for Seasonal, is the only thing I think. Because their, their buffs are like tuned for regular servers. Not for seasonal servers. You don't understand why you get caught in iframe? I mean, that's just desync, it's a ping issue, yeah. I, that's why I have to use Ixit lag. Even with Ixit lag, you're still gonna get caught. It just um, reduces it by a bit. But it doesn't eliminate it completely.
Like, that's just desync right there. It, like, the, it's a problem with the game itself. There's nothing you can do about it. Because even in Korea, they have desync. Do I not? Am I not using RBF pots? What the fuck? What the hell? How did I so swap? Oh my god. I thought I put a delay after throwing shuriken. I guess uh, we get the points in the last few seconds. Now we just have to keep it <laughs> and win the round. Wait, this guy. What the fuck? I thought he was a tamer for a second. So we don't really have anyone at Blood Wolves. I guess we check Shark on next. It's kind of a slow date. Maybe they should have added the kill requirement for Seasonal after all. Get people more riled up. Now if they... If they have to kill people to get accepted into the tournament, then... Everyone will ought to be playing. But now I guess technically they can just wait until the last day. Or even play on non archers just to gear faster. And this is like the same lawn as earlier. I guess you're gone. I'll go Shurikon, um, and do another round of RBFs. And if we don't have anyone, then I'll probably uh, call it a night.
Imagine you chase at the Inter 3v3 tournament. Well, can you get Chase to play again? I mean, he was in the stream earlier, but then he left immediately, I think. I don't think he's even still here. But, I mean, Chase can pretty easily gear up on uh, Seasonal, I think. He's already used to grinding Polyforest. He got, like, soft cap once, so he can probably do it on Seasonal again. He already knows what to do. Anthony, I think, I don't know, Anthony is probably not going to be able to have the time, but you can enter with uh, Ben. Ben's also looking to do 3v3 tournament. Oh wait, it's nighttime. There's no mobs here even. I doubt anyone's here. Oh my god. Wait, my horse is gonna die, isn't it? If I leave it there. Huh. I guess I'll just have to trust that it doesn't. DK. Uh, this is the tamer from earlier who kept attacking me and then left as soon as I uh, killed him. I've, I don't even remember how Awakening DK plays. I've not seen an Awakening DK in ages. Guess we deal with the tamer first though. Ah shit, I was too slow on that to, to grab that. So that's just when the awakening grab, I think. I mean the core playstyle is still kind of similar, I think. I'm not sure if their range skill is a CC though. Reese's on my team. CC me from all the way over there? I thought it was out of range. Okay. 
Okay. We're gonna need more people in this match. Okay, I just malice and he just gets CC randomly. I mean, technically a 3v3. I think this team's a bit unbalanced because Reezy's in here. Wait, what? Why can't I equip unequip this? Huh? Wait, since when could you not unequip Alchemy Stone in RBF? Was that always a thing? Could you always not unequip alchemy still in red battlefield? What the fuck? Actually, I can't unequip any of my gear. Huh? Wait, why is that a thing? He lets go of his block at the worst time. Saw that coming. Their tamer left, I think. They had the tamer earlier. So now it's back to 3v3. I think there's a slight disadvantage though, because the other warrior said he's new. Oh, 
I think he even gets CC there. Bro, this guy has evasion roll unlocked. We need more people to join. All right, the ninja joined. But then he dies instantly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, we got a ninja, too. Hey, what's up, you boys? This guy says we're not letting him type. But I don't know why he has to come down if he wants to type. But yeah, we're, we're just doing a bit of uh, RBF. Kind of a slow day today. Uh, when I started, we had actually 30 people in RBS. And then they just literally disappeared in a matter of three games. It's kind of, I don't I don't know. Seasonal art is kind of weird at times. Like one, like one minute you have a bunch of people, the next minute they're all gone. Of course they would leave. Oh my god. Arsha tour done? Um, I checked like all the major spots and so far we don't really have anyone. There were some people in Polyforest, but all of them were like, I don't know, below 200 AP or something. Because they couldn't even kill me when I wasn't even uh, doing anything. I, I was just memeing them. Oh, Arsha tour best of class? Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. I have, n I have not heard of that at all. It's kind of hard to get more points than he does when everybody on the other team has one point. Every kill is one point right now. Oh wait, but I have 92. I guess I have a head start. He was complaining that uh, it's boring because I guess they just keep dying, which I mean I understand, but that's why I said like we, it's not like we can't start a new RBF right now. We have to wait for this one to end. <laughs> get Reezy killed. Damn, how do I get him killed? I feel like even if I do literally nothing, he still wins. What do you put him in a situation? I guess I can grab everyone on the enemy team and then pull him towards Reezy. But then Rizzo was just able to eat them all, so... Yeah, 
It's not like I'm a sage with long range grab here. <laughs> Damn. That would be a pretty troll ability. Imagine that you can just like pick any arbitrary person on your team. <laughs> to just substitute in front in for you. No, that's a des no, that's a skill designed only to troll people. Uh, have I updated to the newest add-ons? I mean, I have add-ons. I just never really got around to looking, <laughs> looking at them. I just have like. I know, I just picked random ones. Look at Reezy go. I'll probably look at them someday. But so far... I mean, so far I haven't really had a need to. I mean, so far they're good enough. Like, I can kill people outside of RBF just fine right now. R and RBF people are kind of tanky, but that's just RBF. Like, uh, like on NA, we have the Tuvala tournament. Which is a uh, 3v3 tournament for seasonal characters, so that should be... Like, that's already been announced, so maybe people will make seasonal character gear up. And then they'll have a reason to update them. Is he gonna die here? No, cuz... Oh! Now let's just have to echo spirit. <laughs> Never mind the ninja peels. Oh, he z-buffs and then gets grabbed immediately. Oh, this ninja's going for him. No, but he scuffed his combo. Boss saw their grab. But he's, he's not going for combo, he's just going for grabs. He just CCs and then leaves, I guess. Oh, shit. Nice vacuum. <laughs> Come on, at least do a second CC. <laughs> Bro, this this vacuum is a meme. <laughs> oh, this guy's getting mean by the vacuum. Oh, he got out. Damn, he's dead. They killed him.
<laughs> Man. This RBF is uh, pretty scuffed, not gonna lie. Oh, well, this guy has this whole block against Jerkin spam. Guess this argument is going to just end with 142 points. Alright, we just need the, uh, just waiting for the reward now. Alright, just need it to end already. Oh my god. It's actually going for a combo. Now, now it finally ended. I don't know what that delay was for. What do you mean not everyone is welcome to join? What do you mean? I opened the Discord server. It's my stream Discord. What's wrong with playing against Brodos? Maybe uh, they decided to send an observer because that's just uh, the only unit they made. No one opens with Zelda these days, you know? What? Oh my god, I got CC'd by the mob. Oh my god, I got CC'd by the mob again! I guess they could have sent a pro, but maybe their pros are too busy mining. Mobs are best player, yes. That's the challenge of PKing a Shurikan. You have to avoid the mobs just as much as you have to avoid the player. Who is this guy? Rap you girl. Hold then. Hopefully to make the high APM classes more enjoyable on the hands. Uh well, if they do that, then I guess it wouldn't really be high APM anymore. They would have to lower the APM. I know some people wouldn't really like that. I feel like the revamp is going to be kind of like... Like, not everyone's going to like the revamp, I feel like. Okay, I... I guess the uh, instant respawn. Oh. 
I mean, personally, I'm kind of worried that they might, like, do something to s screw with how ninjas feel and play. But if, since we don't have any information on it, there's, like, anything that's possible at this point, I guess. What's with the edgy pet names? I feel like those are the least edgy pet names, but... At least I wasn't trying to be edgy. There they are. How is Ninja edgy? Oh shit, that Sage outtraded the other Sage. Oh shit, I don't have pots. I'm still using RBF pots in my auto pot. Awakening SLMB. Yeah, I mean, they can get rid of some of the useless skills. I mean, I died because I didn't have pots. So I forgot to I forgot to switch to regular pots after doing RBF. Like the main quality of life change for ninja would be probably be add a way to like a good way to go from pre-awakening to awakening. So you think black makes you edgy? I guess everyone in a, who dresses in black business suit are also edgy then. Every businessman is edgy. Black is just an elegant color. I mean, it is you what you are to someone's funeral, but it's also what people just wear to business meetings in general. Murderous and tennis, the edge of the skill. What? Oh, damn, I got skill points. I just won RBF. He's just getting knocked back by the mob. What the fuck? How did he get out of that? I mean, alone isn't. Oh my god. Uh, well, alone isn't. 
about being edgy. It's about being a solo player. Like right now, I'm alone. Or are you saying solo players are edgy? Solo... <laughs> I'm not talking about Swords of Legends online. Where did that guy go? He just run this way, run out. Fuck it. I'm talking about the fact that I'm not in a party right now, making me a solo player. What the fuck is that decent? That was some decent. He teleported like three times. I'm Kurito fanboy. What? I don't. What? Oh my god. I was playing solo before Kurito was born. How can I be his fanboy? When was that anime released anyways? I was team player before? What? I played Assassin. Assassin's a solo class, man. Assassin on Perfect Order is just Ninja on BDO. Gotham was the beheading.
What the fuck? How was I slow that much? Bro, if I wasn't slow, I could have gotten that off and then block jumped. This is the course that I ran away earlier. I'm gonna run away again. What do you mean your brain wasn't slow? Bro, that was that was well timed. But I didn't notice I got slow debuffed. I killed Wally Salt. Damn, why do you do Wally like that? Damn, this Sage can CC through mobs. Or what? Better class than Ranger already. Okay, I think I got knocked by the mob. Wally probably reroll Sage on his uh, season. What? Well, everyone on seasonal arc is just a Sage? No, everyone's a Corsair. What do you mean? Sage, Sage is easy 1v1 for me. Sage is stupid. In large scale, yeah. On Arsha, where it's like more small scale. What do you mean Anthony was... What are you talking about? I only remember uh, when I beat you on my archer ult that I didn't play. Damn, he survived. Didn't get re-CC. Oh, you're the one with the uh, weird fantasy here saying that Anthony beat me in BA with Sage. Can't wait for all the class revamp about time to make all the classes balanced. Well, I hope that's what they're going for. But given PA's track record, hmm. I would, I would, I just say I wouldn't get my hopes up. Like, like, uh, don't hold your breath is what I would say. You know, if if they get it right, it's a nice surprise. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Cautiously optimistic. Man, you know, on BDO, BDO is a game where you can, like, very easily kill people, no matter who they are. It's more about getting a consistent win rate than getting a kill. I know when you, like, play Perfect World, it's like people would do, like, best of three. 
But on BDO, people do like a hundred fights in a row. What? How did I knock him out of range? That was pretty scuffed. Classes that use both Awakening and Pre-Awakening. I mean, there's Awakening DK, Awakening Warrior... Um... Berserker, probably? Sword, probably? I think there's a lot of classes that use both Awakening and Pre-Awakening. Kuno? I mean, I know Sage is, like, easy mode, because you only use one kit, but... I think that's the exception rather than the norm. Was also the exception rather than the norm, then Striker definitely uses both. What do you mean? Striker does DPS with their Awaken, sure, but a lot of their CC is in pre. Tamer, I'm pretty sure Tamer uses both. I don't play Tamer, I'm pretty sure they use both. Especially because their pet is pre-awakened. One of the biggest part of their kit. Wizard uses both. Meteor is pre-awakened. Blizzard is pre-awakened, protected area, heal. Yeah, you can use the one in awakening, but the skill that it requires it is still pre-awakened. Or, or like, what, what are you counting here? Are you only counting, like, not having to swap weapon or what? Because wizards still swap weapon to heal and use meteor and use blizzard, so... Striker still swaps open for their CCs. Like, absolute mass destruction. That one, like, is the one that gets you a lot. I mean, I, granted, I don't know how Tamer works, but Sork, you definitely swap a lot. You swap for the front, you like, need to, uh, use the frontal guard on Sork. You need to, um, use the pre awakened skill to DPS. On Sork. Uses pre awakening to pull in some movement only for, I guess, Bad Warrior. But if you look at Mechanics, he uses pre awakened a lot.
well, it's just because people who get lazy only use this awakening doesn't mean the class isn't designed to use both. So I don't know what you mean, though. Bruh. Like, like, uh, if you're not good at ninja, you can also just use awaken. You know, you can just uh, use stealth. And then uh, Serpent Ascension, and then Katana Shower, and then Stealth again. Like, you, you know, you can do that on Ninja too, if you're not considering, like, the full potential of the kit. I mean, you can. What do you mean you can't? How can you not? What do you mean you can kill a lot of people with Serpent Ascension, Katana Shower? Well, you don't need to use any catches if you use stealth. I mean, we're 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 talking about the uh, people who aren't good, right? Because you said you don't want to. Because if you're just gonna say that anyone who uses the crit to the full potential is an exception, then you have to also consider people who aren't good. And people who aren't good at ninja can easily just use stealth, just catch people in stealth. You don't even need to leave Awakening to use Stealth, thanks to the passive that lets you Stealth in Awakening. Well, that's because he plays the class to its full potential. There are also other good warriors who play classes to their full potential. But if you're not playing the class to its full potential, then it doesn't really matter. You can... you can... Play any class in Awakening only and not to its full potential, so. For these mobs. What the hell? Did he escape escape? Yep. Bro, he actually escape escaped. Uh, this but these mobs are really making it difficult than more difficult than it has to be. I have no movement because I keep hitting the mob with murderous. It's a good thing he teleported into me as I have block jump up though. Save me from having to catch him. I don't use escape escape. I don't think escape escape is like really meaningful. Like sure, you're escaping the kill lock, but you basically admit defeat when you escape escape. So what's the difference?
I mean, most classes flow better between Awakening and Pre-Awakening than Ninja. Ninja has one of the worst flow between Awakening and Pre-Awakening. Because we literally have no skill that go from Pre-Awakening to Awakening until they added um, fucking Mark Explosion. But that skill is not even useful. So it's not there's no point to even using it. So we still have zero useful skill to transition to from Pre-Awakening to Awakening. Having the best sea swap in the game, I mean, I I don't I don't get how that uh, automatically makes other classes not flow though. Sea swap is like one of the most awkward ways to swap, whereas almost every other class has skills that all swaps for them. Ninja only has ways to go from Awaken to Pre, but no way from Pre to Awaken. I think Seasolve is the most clunky way. Which makes Ninja have the worst flow. I mean, this is this isn't a PG stream for sure. This is like at least thirteen plus. We allow soaring here. Awakening hash. Well, I never played the Awakening hash. Oh, my God, the stun. But that doesn't really make Ninja any less clunky, though. Having to see swap everything rather than having the skills flow by itself is probably one of the reasons why Ninja has such high APM requirements. Compared to other classes, where it just flows naturally. High APM requirement is a good thing? Oh, it depends on who you ask. But high APM is also what makes... Like, the requirements also makes the class clunky, though. 
Plus, you're having to press all these keys just to do what those other classes already do automatically. I think every class should be high APM. Well, BDO is in the game like StarCraft, you know. And you still appeal to different types of players. I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with balance, though. Because people would say Ninja is pretty OP in certain situations, like 1vx, 1v1, and Ninja's not an easy class. I mean, relative to the other classes, at least, whereas Guardian is probably a very easy class, but... Nobody would say Guardians did that 1v1 or 1vx. If a class is OP, it would be because of like their kit, what they have available to them that makes them OP, not because of like how easy it is to press the skills, I would think. I mean, they're literally introducing a ranked 1v1 arena. So what do you mean? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Your points still stand about what? I mean, that's not really a point though, that's just your opinion. There's people who literally does BA every day, so to them, 1v1 certainly matters. I mean, it's fine, you, you don't care about 1v1. And what about 1vx? What do you mean 1% of the player base? Like, everything is 1% of the player base, you know? The most active part of the player base who plays this game is probably people who like PvEs only over life skill. Most people are not even PvP players. But that's just the fact on any MMO. PvP kind of takes a back seat when it comes to MMOs. Okay. Sure, we'll add our peers to the list as well. But. I mean, if we're just looking at player base as a whole, then no matter what, it's going to be small. Yeah, but people who 1v1 is a good majority of the active PvP community, though. Like, people who actively does PvP. There's quite a lot of them that do 1v1s. Either exclusively or frequently. Like, hell, even I'm 1v1ing right this moment. 
Like, this is literally a 1v1 right now. Well, we're not though, because what 1v1 still matters, even if you don't only 1v1. So I don't know why we're talking about people who who does no other content. I mean, people who. There are people who occasionally go to NBA and do open world at the same time. So, what do you mean? Like. There's plenty of people who does BA sometimes, does RBF other times, and, uh. Does other content other times. Just so because you're in BA doesn't mean you only 1v1. Well, I mean, they can say the same about your opinion. Let's say range has same AO year 1v1, you want your 1v1 Xing most classes. Yeah, if you're a melee class, you also have to. Take that into account as well. Like even in um just like open world situations you will run into 1v1s. If I kill everyone except one person in the 1vx, then the last person for me to kill is the 1v1. Let's see by the mob here. Yeah, this guy's a sage. Cause other souls just progress. And what if they don't progress? You have to have 1v1 knowledge to 1vx as well. That's a good point. I mean, it's trendy to hate on Sage, sure. But we're talking in general here, not just one class, I thought. Your whole point is that there are some classes that are easy and ruins the game? Since when was that the whole point? I I never disagree that some classes are broken. What?
Well, I can't score up right now, because... Not sure if this guy's running PK or not. Or if he's just the only grinding now. So if he's done with PvP. I think he's done with I think he's done with the 1v1. Okay, fine. What do you want me to scroll up to see? You said the game is unbalanced because there are easy mode classes that do everything in five buttons. Oh my god. I got you baited. Fuck! I couldn't switch the full screen because of the mob. But my whole point was that the number of buttons they click doesn't make the class OP or not OP. What makes the class OP or not OP is their kit, not how many buttons they not how many buttons they click. I never said there weren't OP classes. I said the reason they were OP is not because of the number of buttons. Bruh, follow the argument. You misinterpreted my argument from the beginning and you're saying it's my fault? Well, a class being easy makes everyone hops on it, sure, but a class, like, that's not the root cause of it being OP, though, which is what you were implying. Like, say if you have Witcher Wizard, as is, I mean, they're still easy to play, but you, like, nerf PA, nerf their heal, like, nerf their protection, they would still be, like, Five button classes, but they wouldn't nearly be as OP anymore. It's because they have their kit of heals, PA, protect the damage, range. That's what makes them OP in the first place. And then on top of that, they're easy to play, which is what makes everyone want to play them. But if they didn't have the kit, then it wouldn't really matter much. The kid comes first. Like, oh, this stage is, is just done. Where's he coming back? Is he just- is he like actually building up Z-buffs to fight me or what? Alright, fuck it. If he's gonna do that, I'm not fighting him anymore. I'm not gonna wait for him to build up Z-buff. 
But if they were harder to play, the problem would not be as bad. Um... I mean, sure. But that still wasn't really the reason they were OP, though. No, it's, I'm not even saying that there's no part of it that makes them OP, though. That's the thing. They are OP because of the kit. And then everyone plays them because they're easy. They're two different concepts, is what I'm saying. So I don't... So, like, them being easy to play has nothing to do with them being OP. People said that Zerg with RTL the playing where the best Zerg were unbeatable because they were playing a hard race effectively. Uh, yes, but I think in this case we're talking about the uh, average player rather than the best player. Because see, what Dante's trying to say here is that because everyone is able to play a class, that's what makes the class OP. But the class has to be OP to begin with independent of whether everyone plays it or not. And then everyone playing it, sure, makes the game less fun, but that's not the reason the class is OP. Because in low elo, you hit five men ultimates, but in high elo, it's useless. Huh? Well, not quite, because... Because, like, if we're talking about, uh... Siege, then sure, Wizard was definitely OP, regardless of skill level. I, I mean, I agree with that. Um... But, like... That's why that's why I'm like pointing out that Ninja is like a OP one of the X class, but it's not easy to play. So so like even there there's differences. Which goes to show that a class being easy to play doesn't automatically make it OP. Ninja is more like... I mean, I guess it's more like easy to... It's not easy, but... It's it's hard relative to the other classes, I guess. But it's not like the hardest class. But regardless, it's definitely not as easy as Wizard when it comes to Siege, so... You never said being an easy class will make it OP, but that's literally what you said. Because I was reading a uh, chat. Bruh.
I mean, that's what you said. You, you said a huge reason why the game is unbalanced, because there's easy mode classes that do everything in five buttons. And I'm saying that just because they're easy it doesn't automatically make them OP, so that that's that's the whole that's the whole idea. Easy while being protected and ranged. I mean, you didn't put a comma there, or like you didn't have punctuation, so. You said, because the, the way you said it, it said all these easy mode classes that do everything in five buttons while being protected and ranged. So it's like one complete sentence where you're saying that protected and range makes them easy rather than them having being easy and protected and range. Like it's just a matter of semantics then in that case. Or just changing the argument after the fact, but that's not too important. Well, I said that's not too important. Whether you did or didn't, so it's it's fine. It's just uh Well the way it reads is that you're saying protected and range is what makes them easy. Rather than have them having to be easy, protected, and ranged at the same time, you know, there's like missing an and there. If Sage had 50% less protection, then the class wouldn't be broken. I mean... True. Like, every class would be nerfed by removing protection, though. But there's definitely a lot of protected CCs nowadays. Where there shouldn't really be that many. I mean, I would be fine with there being none, but... I think Pro Abyss wouldn't really agree. They gave, like, every class at least one protected CC, I think. And then they wanted uh, Wizard and Witches originally to have protected CCs because they were slow classes, so to speak. But then Wizard and Witches became fast classes, so that kind of didn't really matter in the end.
But ultimately, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Because right now we're in the uh, main server, we don't really even need to CC to kill people. So they just need to like rehaul the entire thing. I didn't even realize that guy was a striker. Well, uh, you, you need to be 700 GS to be competitive nowadays, man. That's why I stopped playing the main servers. If you were safe, you wouldn't? That might be more due to the accuracy modifier rather than the protection though. Actually, it's just like the like the off, uh, offensive stats. You know, you literally like miss attacks if your accuracy is not high enough compared to their evasion, so you do less damage. Oh, this guy did a lot of damage there. Oops, I, I still swap by accident, fuck. Oops. I mean, it's just like actually wish on any games, like... Same as Perfect World, you know, or if you uh, don't have actually literally miss hits and you do less damage. But except in this game, it doesn't affect your CC. Your CC will go through. It's just that the damage wouldn't. No, I'm saying like when you compare to PW. Like, when you miss, just imagine it's only this damage that gets negated. And then it's basically the same thing. Like, imagine you land stunning arrow, they get stunned, but they take zero damage. That's, that's, ac that's accuracy in BDO. So it's actually just like focused mind from Sin if you think about it. CC is RNG based, yeah, that's another thing, but that's uh, separate from accuracy. Accuracy evasion is like a damage based stat only. It doesn't affect CC or anything. CC RNG is another thing. Just to clarify here.
Well, that's probably because of the uh, game not ha having a weird scaling when it comes to the APDP. You know, on uh, on games like Perfect World, the more AP you have, the less each AP matters. If you're at like 5,000 damage, you go to 10,000 damage, that's double. If you're at 10,000, you go to 15,000, that's only 50% more. Whereas on this game, it's not like that. Plus so you have AP bracket, you have weird AP scaling. Where even at high AP, every AP is worth almost the same thing, so... And every DP source almost the same. So if this was like the same scaling as PWI, then going from like 300 DP to 400 DP should make almost negligible difference. But it doesn't, which is the problem. Because it, it should, in theory, like, it should mathematically only be one-fourth as effective. Compared to, like, going from 100 to 200. Yeah. I doubt we know the actual math because Big and Shiny has been doing calculations forever and even he still had a mistake in this calculation. And I think his calculation is still only an approximation rather than the true formula. At least I'm not aware of him having a calculator that works for PvE yet. I believe his only works for PvP. Or PvE. I don't think his works for PvP. Alright, see ya. From your experience, you feel at least two times as tanky. <clears throat> yeah, because then there's also brackets you have to consider, AP, DP brackets, which makes things uh, even harder to account for. Oh, yeah, I didn't get him with the block jump there. What? Another striker. Can you really kill someone with R9 and R3 JOSD plus 12, being very undergeared? Yes. Or maybe only if you're the right class, because I've done that on my sin. Remember the fight versus Fei Humming that I showed you? I mean, I guess I had full buffs, so I wasn't that undergeared, but I was still like literally half his stats. Like he had double my HP, double my physical defense and magic defense.
I mean, uh, to be fair, I did get extremely lucky in that fight. Like, I, I never actually expected to kill him, to be fair. But I still did it. Yeah, for sure, probably class dependent. Oops, I fucked up. Never mind, he also fucked up. I mean, sure, Sin is definitely like one of the class on Perfect World. That's just. High DPS altogether. Wait, plus twelve weapon with Vitstone plus plus twelve with Shades. That's not even a bad matchup, because I'm pretty sure I only had like plus like plus ten when I killed him. I wasn't even plus twelve in that fight. But then again, like I said, Sin is for sure. Definitely one of the class that's high damage. Want to voice chat? I mean, I'm probably ending the stream soon. I think uh, that's all the PvP we have for tonight. I, I have not playing the main BDO server, but right now it's Seasons. It's actually a pretty good time to play if you don't have gear. Because you can like... Like this is like the gear cap on Season. And then uh, you can get this in like a week. If you just grind. Like normally, not even like try hard. With, some, with, with like decent RNG. So it's a good time to like play if you don't have gear right now, I think. But I did quit the main server, so I'm only playing season. And um I mean Archer isn't really a good 1v1 class either though, so you have to consider that. I mean perfect road archer that is. Have I made any new videos recently? I have a I have one that's I'm planning to release soon, but right now it's kind of a work in progress still. Still trying to pick out all the clips. It's an old footage though. It's from like before I quit. I said that three months ago. <laughs> well, that's the problem, isn't it? I'm awakening, but there are new skills. If you're awakening, then you have this skill now. That's a new skill. It's pretty useful. Does good damage. Good escape. I'm not really farming, I'm just PvP. What the hell? Bro, I desynced it again.
I'm just pretending to farm. You know? So they come and fight me. Oh my god, use that skill. Because like, I'm here, so I might as well kill some mobs so I wait for them to respawn, you know? It's just stuff like that. Why not why not get some free money? Oh I wait. I mean it's seasonal, people are like not gonna grind high end places on seasonal. Like, you can't grind Star Sand with this gear. And there isn't really anywhere else to grind. Like, you can't go into the desert, potentially. You can maybe grind Runaros, but... Honestly, Polyforce is still the place you will grind on, se you grind on Season though. No, it's not more active in the main server. It's kind of like less active But there is a 3v3 tournament going on um, I know Dante was saying earlier that he wanted to uh, you to join his 3v3 team. I don't know if he's still here You can grind star send with seasonal gear. I think only for certain classes like you have to be succession striker or guardian again, right? I think for other classes it's not really worth it But like if you're selling more gear, I guess you go to Ronaro's maybe. Because you don't really even need to be that gear to grind like Shurikan or Blood Wolves. I've seen people at Shurikan and Blood Wolves without gear as well. I mean, the max here isn't really that high on seasonal to begin with. It's like a week of grinding or two, depending on RNG. Um, like I said, I'm probably ending the stream soon. Because it is getting late and, uh, kind of have, like, had all the PvP for today already. I think, um, with the 3v3 tournament announced, probably people are still gearing up, I assume. So I'm going to have to wait, like, a few more days. Before we get like larger PvP and potentially with Corsair's Awakening release on the next week, I think. You might see some larger skill fights then. Oops, I fucked up. Let me heal. There we go.
What the heck? I just ran into something. I want to see where this fight le leads. Before I go, I want to see what, what these guys are up to. I think come back to the main server for a dual grind partner. Wait, wh what's there to dual grind? Says my whale pots are too good. What whale pots, bro? I don't even have whale pots in my inventory. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if I ever come back to the main server, it's like. Is the meta on the main server even really that interesting? Like, potentially, I, I did consider the possibility of making a save, so I don't actually need to gear. Because apparently Sage is just that strong, you don't really need uh, accuracy, so you can just put full RBF and have as much AP as if you were 300. Or something like that. But, I don't know, it's just a thought. I don't, but even then, I don't think I will actually grind on the main server. The only reason I grind is to find an excuse to kill people. So if, if anything, if I go back to the main server, the whole point would be to like try and find how I can uh, kill people on Arsha without getting any gear. I mean, I'm not really trash talking, I'm just answering. I don't know what you mean, man. Where did he come from? You can't, you can't chase a sage at all, they're just way too fast. I don't like the new Musa Mewa. They're about to play Valorant? All right, have fun on Valorant. I guess you're not joining Dante's 3v3 team then? What, is it not Valorant? Oh, it's Va Valorant. Okay.
I mean, he has to gear up his seasonal still. It's not seasonal gear is easy, but it's not free. Yeah, I'm not letting you use my account. You already have an account, just gear it up. No, he has an account. He just needs to gear it up. He's not lacking an account. Ah, I was too slow to get away from that. Still too slow. Yeah, the thing with slows is that, like, you can't really immune it. Like, you know, they're basically as good as a CC, but, like, it ignores super armor. Like, that's the problem. Like, maybe slows really shouldn't work on super armor. Yeah, Neil played, but he's in med school right now. He's not really active anymore. I mean, you can probably say my real name. I didn't say he was in medical, I said he was in medical school. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, Because we christened him Chase. I think Chase is a good name for him. Watching on the second monitor? Alright. I said Mexico? Oh my god, that fucking skill. Hey, Blackery, what's up? We're, uh, just doing a bit of RBF before I end the stream. I was actually about to end it earlier, but... Had some good conversation going, and a bit of PvP at Poly, but... It's getting a bit late, so we'll, we'll, we'll see how this RBF goes. And if there's people in the next RBF. So we have Breezy on the other team. The best Kuno. But he's on a no he's on a Nova. What? 
Oh my god. Damn, the RBF defense saved me. I thought I could get that off. Yeah, time zone diff for sure. Unfortunate. What the hell? Bro, I... Sage skills, man. Or Nova skills, man. I can't... I can't throw out anything. They all contest at all. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. to win in the uh, last second. Fuck. Wait, why didn't it give me extra... Why didn't it give overtime this time? Like... I needed just one kill. But this time it didn't give overtime for some reason. Right? <laughs> Overtime is also RNG. God damn it. If people join the other RBF. There probably aren't too many people at this hour.
Hello, anyone home? Okay then. Who is here anyways? I don't know who that is. You? What do you mean? You're on seasonal in this RVF right now? Or what? Yeah, because we have someone in the uh, join the other team and they immediately left. Or something. And now that guy, the other guy also left. Prime time was like, what? Six hours ago. Or not six hours ago, four hours ago. That's when we had 30 people in Seasonal RBF. Now we have this guy. Oh, and this is the warrior who said uh, he didn't know how to play the class. Is he, or is he is he like fighting me or or what? I I don't. He uses no pre awakening his combo. I mean, that's because he's new to the class, maybe? And besides, not every class needs to combo with their pre awakening kit to use their pre awakening kit. What do you mean the debate record is one of. Right. I don't know what you're even talking about. Because you, you, you always gave a vague statement. And then say it wasn't your or a statement when it could have been interpreted either way. Because we never said, he never said that it had to be only. In combos, he just said pre-awakened kit, and they definitely use their kit. Okay, either everyone's AFK or there's a skin camped in safe zone. That spawned by this one witch.
That number's made up as well. Okay, I fucked up. But he doesn't run away. Uh, no, it's probably non-existent. What if I join the other team? Can I join the other team? It never, it never lets me join the other team. My like, people are just AFK up there and doesn't let me join the other team. Oh look, I got in the other team for once. God damn it. I couldn't get out of the ground fast enough. I guess an angle to get me from there? I thought I had line of sight to cover me. I didn't get kill. I lost one of the kills. How did he land that? Oh shit. That's an AoE too. Okay, Lancus gets casually CC. Guess I'll just trade out this guy. Never mind, he dies. Okay.
What's going on here? This guy's just typing? Mid combat? Okay. Thing is, what? Grief Arsha Ulam's party? Assuming people actually grind. On Arsha? Oh shit, that skill is bone. Or not bone, but... Oh wait, is that bone? I don't even know anymore. What's these bone skills? What? How did he not die? You've got to be kidding me. I mean, I don't know. Not sure if I... Not sure if reaching is really the way to go. I pressed wrong button, oh my god. I pressed V by accident. But am I playing after season ends? Um, I mean, it's gonna depend on how things go. Right now, I'm kind of like looking at Lost Ark. Uh, and Naraka Blade Point. Um, but I mean, there's also ranked 1v1 arena, so I don't know if that's actually good or not. If it is, I might try that. But if it's bad, then I guess I'll just play like, like I said, Lost Ark and uh, Naraka while, uh, while I wait for the next season. But usually it's like only, usually it's like what, a month between seasons? A few weeks? I don't know. So I guess we'll see. No, I still have my mains. I'm, I'm already. I'm still 500, uh, 650 gear score on my main, actually, but. It's just that, like, I feel like even nowadays, even 650 gear score is, like, not really good enough. Because all it takes is, like, one guild with, like, a few 700 gear score people to just, like, completely make it so that you can't kill them at all. Because the difference is just that big. Like, you have one 700 gear score people. Person, you just can't even kill them. And, just, like, just by having that one person, they can just, like, control the entire fight. It's not like you can just kill everyone else who's less here. Like they're, like just one geared person kind of just can get, just uh, dominate the situation. Am I lagging or what the fuck was that?
All right, see ya, man. I don't know why, but we have, like, good numbers right now. So, I'm, I might keep going, depending on what happens. Okay. I thought that was in range. Not sure if I got vacuumed or what. Why does that poor still have so much points? I mean, I guess Corsair's a good class. For getting points against this iframe. And do damage. Keep all the points to themselves. What's the difference live on Twitch and YouTube? Any impact to the game? Um, I mean, my PC is pretty good right now, so not really. Because I upgraded my CPU just for streaming. So I'm basic so it's like basically zero impact. As far as I can tell. Granted, I'm not streaming on 1080p yet, because like if I stream on 1080p, then uh, I think there's a concern where like people wouldn't be able to watch it unless I'm partner. So it, it might like impact a bit more if I was streaming on 1080p, but we'll see. We'll have to see what happens. But so far, it's like it's zero impact. I'm just, gameplay is very smooth. Okay. I just came with 200 points. Not really good when it's about to end. Ah, uh, NTVs. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just can't maintain my lead.
Cause all like literally all it takes is one death to throw away the lead in in this game fucking game mode. Like I just can't maintain it. I don't. But now we have overtime, so we need to so like we need to make a comeback here. All right, now it's now it's just uh, needs to end immediately. <laughs> like what a meme this game mode is. Like I kill one person, get two hundred forty nine points, it immediately ends, even though they were ahead by two hundred, like just a few seconds ago. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the fun? I mean, I guess. But to me, I just feel like I'm just getting trolled, you know? It, it doesn't feel like it's uh, earned, you know? <laughs> but maybe that's, but maybe that's just me, I don't know. It's like it's like I feel like it was just entirely because of RNG, you know. Like I just got luck. I got lucky. Got the last hit, and then it ended immediately. Because we saw earlier, like when I needed a uh, overtime, there was no overtime, even though it was like a fifty point difference. And if I killed like one person, I could have brought it back easy. But then. This time it was like a 200 point difference, and then we got overtime forever, and then they waited until I got like a final kill. It's just like a lucky kill, because he had a 1 HP left, and I just managed to hit him, and SA traded him, and then it ends immediately. Like, I can't even make sense of that, like there was no... <laughs> like, there was no strategic planning, you know? It's not like I planned to kill him at that exact moment right as it ends, it just happened. I didn't even know it was gonna end, but it did. Because we don't know how long overtime is going to last. We don't know what causes overtime to happen. It's that, that sort of thing. Yeah, well, most gear people, they're the ones that people no one can kill, so of course, that makes sense. But I mean, I guess this is like a simulation of what would happen if everyone had the same gear, you know? But when every but like if a most gear person like dies with like a, a thousand points, then that also easily turns the tide around. I don't know. It just feels a bit cheap to me. No, like, I get it. Like, if it was based on kills, like, I'm down 20 kills. I play really well, get 20 kills back and wins. Like, if it was, like, a team deathmatch based on kill KD or, like, flags, uh, frags, you know. 
then I can feel like I earned it because I played really well at the end. Made a comeback. Killed 20 people without dying. Stuff like that. But here it's like... It's just like the the person with the most points misplay like a bit. I got a bit lucky, got like one hit on him, and then instantly we win. Even though we were losing since the completely losing just a second ago. Whereas if it was anyone else, then it wouldn't have worked at all. It's just a weird feeling. Um yeah, I can't see my points, that's the thing. But I, I can I know how much points I have if I look at like how much I lose when I die. Like, that's the only way. But I don't know how I can, like, hide the name, but then show the points. I wish there was a way. I don't know how you can get that, though. So I pretty much just look at how much points I had when I die, and I quickly multiply that by two. Because your, your enemy gets double the points when you, uh, or half the points you had when you die. So your points will be double of how much, of how much they got. And then I, and then I think you lose like one third. Oh, you mean can they see my points? No, they can see my points. I just can't see my own points. Everyone else can see my points, that's fine. You know, I feel like I really shouldn't be on the same team with Reezy. Yeah, it's only for me. And I hide it because I like... I just feel it's a bit redundant, and plus it kind of blocks my crosshair in the middle. Or else I'd rather see the crosshair than see the names. I mean, I already know what my name is, so I don't need to see that. But I wish it sh still showed my HP bar and showed my uh, points. But I don't really see an option to do that, unfortunately. Uh, well, if you have a guilty suit, yeah. That's the only way. Well, actually, that's not the only way. Technically, if you crouch, or if you go pro, then you also hide your name. And you actually hide your presence on the minimap, too. They can't see your dot on the minimap. <laughs> but it's kind of mean. Oh my god. I guess we're just uh, fighting this guy on the hill now. Wait. Why do they have 95? Who has points on their side? Fuck, no one's on their side has points. Yep. I'm gonna try and join the other team again. Play Ninja for two months in BA? How are you liking it so far?
Ah, uh, well, it's, say it's a matter of uh, practice, I think. Yeah, it's definitely like a high skill cap class. It takes a lot to master it. You really get the muscle memory down. So yeah, just, just keep practicing. Until you get it, I would say. There's certainly like... Not too, not that difficult to learn, but it's hard to master. For sure. I couldn't join the other team, so I guess... I'm on Reezy's team. He's here with 66 points. No one on their team has any points. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not really a class that's light on the fingers for long hours of grinding. It's it's so random sometimes when Corsair does huge damage. Like a lot of the times Corsair stays just like float around, not really doing much, and then all of a sudden they do like a huge burst attack. I mean, they can certainly clean up the ninja kit and make some of the skills more useful. We also already have, like, a lot of good skills. Okay. I don't really know what they would replace it with without like making things broken. Yeah, Corsair is like a class that's good for like just trading SA damage. Especially since they have like so much iframe in between their hits. But. It's not really. I don't know. If I feel like it would be kind of boring to play. Because it's so slow. You can't really plan anything. Things just, you kind of just like do things and it just happens around you.
We can just rotate, hope to hit people, and maybe some of them will die. I also learned a new trick just the other day that you can actually use a uh, boss slaughter to hit people on top of stuff. I actually didn't know that you could do that. Because you can't do that with block jump. You just have to make sure there's like you're not too close to them. There has to you have to like have a clear line of sight. Like you have to have enough distance that uh you don't just run into the wall. Essentially. That's how that's how I was able to hit the wizard. Or the witch, rather. Hmm. Couldn't really ink. Finish him off with that Nova. Uh, I, I I was afraid to serpent. Uh, boss slaughter is uh float. Now I got the Nova. It's the shift F skill when you're in pre-awaken, and then you press W afterwards. Shift F W in pre-awaken. You have to make sure you press the W though. If you don't press the W, it's not the right. It does the slow one. You want the fast one. Uh, it's a float, not a flow. Like a float? A CC. Like serpent, you know, float. Floating, yeah. Stole a bunch of points there. Oh, this guy has 146. Oops, I missed. Stop trying to get on the wall. Yeah, I think this will be the last RBF. Probably I'll, I'll go sleep after this one. Getting all the points.
Oh, no grab. Nah, I'm playing an SC3 there like that. Oh. Just SC traded the Corsair. Is it literally just the Witch and the Corsair now? Didn't they have another person on their team? Damn. What's my points? Four... Four fifteen. Damn, I got all the kills. Alright, but yeah. Thanks, uh... Thanks for watching the stream, everyone. Uh, probably gonna be ending it here. Gonna go sleep. It's, uh... Streaming for about five hours. It's getting a bit late. Did have... We had, like, a bit of PvP. Mostly the 30 men... 30 people RBF earlier in the day. And then, uh... A spit of small PvP later on. But yeah. Gonna be uh, calling it here. So thanks everyone. And uh, hope you all have a good night.